Hoochie. Yo guys, what is up? It's Ifriclips here, and today I'm going to be doing the 2016 best settings for Action Marillus Pro 1.30. First off, let's get started with the first tab, Video Recording. I have it set to the keybind F9, which is the default key. And next thing you have is Recording Modes. You have three modes. You have a monitor, which is your active screen. You have a controller, which is your active game. And you have almost a rectangle, which you can basically select a part of your screen like this, for example, and that's only going to be recording. Next up, you have file format. You have AVI, MP4, or MP4 N NVENC if you have a NVIDIA graphics card. If your CPU is very high end, I'm talking i7 4700s, then you can set it to MP4 or MP4 NVENC. But for most computers, I'd rather leave it at AVI since you're going to be rendering it out later. Next, you have video size. You have original, 1080p, 720p, 480p, and 240p. I have it set to 1080p because that's where I like all my videos at. You can set it to whatever P you want. You can set original, 720, doesn't matter. Next, you have video frame rate. You have 60, 50, 40, and 30, or sorry, not 40, 60, 50, 30, and then 25, 20. Uh, I have it set to 60 always, unless I'm doing games where, you know, it's harder to run. I always keep it at 60 because it's a lot more smoother and everything just looks better in general. Especially with YouTube now allowing us to use 60 FPS. Then you have duration. Duration is basically where you can set it for how long you want it to record and then it's going to stop recording at that time. So you can set it for an hour if you're recording a movie, 10 minutes if you're just recording a time lapse, or seconds if you want that. Next we have record system sounds. I always keep that ticked. If I'm playing a game, I want to make sure I, all my people can hear the game. Or if I'm watching a movie, I can hear the movie. Allow multi-channel audio recording. This is basically uh, what, what it is really. It lets you hear other parties like Skype. TeamSpeak, uh, I know Whisper, etc. Microphone, I have always on always record. Next, you have live. This is action live streaming. And this is basically if you're ever going to be streaming, you can go here and set it to whatever you want. Uh, you're going to put your stream key here. For example, mine would be, for example, twitch.tv slash source level one. And then you have your stream key. Do not give this out to anyone ever unless you want to be hacked. So yep, that's pretty much it. Next one, this is your information. If you go here, it's going to tell you your product code, etc. Audio recording. This is basically where you can do voiceovers and other things such as that. By pressing F10 or clicking here. And you can just start making voiceovers for whatever you're doing. You have allow multi-channel, once again for Skype, Whisper, TeamSpeak. Record silence, on or off. This is basically... Uh, if you're if there's no background noise It's just gonna keep recording, but if you untick that then it's just gonna stop it So you're not gonna be hearing background noise Microphone do not record always record or record on buttons on off Wave or mp4 audio then you have benchmarking. I wouldn't really mess around with this because When I tried it I had to reinstall action, so I'm not quite sure if it was just me But I haven't touched it since then we have capture screenshots. This is basically a pretty simple thing, as you see. F12, PNG, or JPEG. Entire desktop, or you can select monitors if you have different monitors. So for example, let's take a picture right now. All I have to do is click it, and as you can see, here's our picture. Now we'll go here to our settings. <clears throat> you can start off with general settings, and here I like to keep everything just the way it comes stock. Then you have video recording settings, video quality, low, normal, high, keep it at normal. Bit rate for MP4, 100. Input range, 0 to 255. Use multi core recording, I keep that ticked because I have 6 core processor. Record mouse cursor, I always keep that ticked because you know you can see my mouse. See moving it here, you can see that. Use overlay graphics, 
Uh, you can basically put a PNG or some sort of picture that you want up here, up here, or wherever you want it, as you can see. Then you have webcam. If you have a webcam, you can put it anywhere you want. Uh, you can set it to 16 by 9 so it's bigger or smaller. And yeah, it's pretty much pretty simple. You can mess around that by yourself if you want to. Audio settings. This one's good. I have mine set to my microphone, which is the Blue Yeti stereo mic. And I have my volume at 50. And my, uh, my, if you have one, you know what I mean. There's a dial on the back. It's at, uh, middle. Record microphone into separate audio track. I don't do that, because for me, it does not work. Then we have system sounds. I've just set to my Blue Yeti once again. And this is just what it is. Uh, stock. Then we have HUD. Uh, this basically... I don't know if you can see this right here, but if you do, you can move this over here in the center, over here, over here, in the center down, or here. So you can pretty much set it to any area that you really want to, so it's pretty good. And it says hide HUD during desktop recording, so if you click that, you're not going to see this anymore. Do not record HUD in games and applications. Unless you want that to pop up in your game, I'd recommend that being ticked. And these others I just don't touch. Here, if like I said, if you have a, a Nvidia graphics card, you could use this, and it'll basically help you with your computer if you want to make it automatically go to an MP4. If you're just gonna directly upload it, it'll just make it faster because it's using a little bit of your graphics card's CUDA cores as well. And as you can see here, export mouse cursor and export mouse click visualization. Visual. Visualizations, thank you. This is basically like if you're clicking, it'll just pop up the little circles that pop out, so it shows where you're clicking. Automatically spit parts into YouTube. This is another thing. It'll basically, if you record for one hour long, it'll keep splitting it by 15 minutes so you can upload each episode to YouTube. For, so, say, example, you played one hour, which means you have four episodes, and that's an easy four episodes right there for you, so looks pretty good export folder that's where you want your recordings to be mine as you can see here is up to my G folder because it's my most open out of them all and the last one but not least hotkeys this is basically gonna be all your keys for everything you have record video F9 these are all stock by the way record audio F10 benchmarking don't use that capture screenshots F12 Reset frame rate, F5, HUD, change desktop, microphone recording, frame rate, etc. So, that pretty much sums up the tutorial for action. Next up, I'm going to be doing some gameplay showing so you can see how the game looks and if you like the recording software or not. Peace out.